Okay, everybody, welcome. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Kedro, and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Here's the plan. So I recently watched the Venom 2 trailer, and today we have a theory to discuss. It's gonna be in segments. It's gonna be there's time codes, okay? They're on the screen, they're in this, the description. So if you wanna just skip to things, you know, if you're just a pro at everything and you know everything, then you can just skip to the theory because I'm gonna be going over some background premise stuff. Hopefully you guys can hear me, I think so. I wrote some notes too, so I'm gonna be referring to that. Um, yeah, okay, so. Let's set some things up for the actual theory. We all know, I mean, maybe you don't know, maybe that's why you're watching this part, but basically, Sony, they own Spider-Man and everything Spider-Man, okay? Disney, they own everything else, okay? So, but that means in movies, Disney cannot legally put anything Spider-Man related in their Marvel movies, okay? But they made a deal recently, or I guess, kind of recently, to uh, lend the rights of Spider-Man, so now he, Spider-Man, can appear in the MCU. Okay, taking a little step backwards now, picture this. The year is 2002. Sony just made a Spider-Man movie starring Tobey Maguire with Sam Raimi as the director. This movie is awesome, so they create two more. The second movie is starring Alfred Molina. I think I said that right, hopefully I didn't say it wrong, but if I said it wrong, then I'm so sorry. He plays Doc Ock. Now jumping back to today. The year is 2021. The MCU is going in straight. Sony is attempting to create their own little cinematic universe with Venom and Morbius so far that we know because there's been trailers of those out yeah so a movie that has been announced is called Doctor Strange 2 the second Doctor Strange multiverse of madness or something I hope it's that hopefully they didn't change it okay pretty sure that's all the, um, the stuff that is important for explaining theory now let's get to the theory part so basically, if you haven't seen the Venom 2 trailer, you should watch it, but I'm basically gonna explain what I saw. Okay, so we all know that Venom and Morbius will be in the same universe. At least I'm pretty sure that they are. In like Sony's little cinematic universe thing that they're trying to create. Venom and Morbius, same world, you know, same universe. And that universe is separate from the MCU universe. It's a different universe, okay? My theory is that Venom and Morbius are set in the original Spider-Man universe, starring Tobey Maguire with Sam Raimi as the director. They are set in that universe because, now listen to this, there's some newspapers that are the exact same layout and just daily bugle everything as the original 2002 Spider-Man. And in the Morbius trailer, there was a Spider-Man poster on the wall thing. You'll see it here. That's the start of the theory. Now another part to the theory is the Toby Spidey is transported somehow through the multiverse to the MCU. My theory for this part is because Cletus Cassidy says, Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. And then he squishes a spider, referring to, of course, Spider-Man. So, in the Venom Morbius universe slash original Spider-Man 2002 universe, there is no more Spider-Man. But where has Spider-Man gone? I think he went to the MCU universe because we all know that Doctor Strange 2 is coming out soon or maybe not soon but Doctor Strange 2 is called the Multiverse of Madness and if you don't know from before there was a bunch of like tweets and like leaks and stuff and like rumors and stuff or whatever of like a bunch of original cast from different Spider-Man movies and stuff were gonna be in there but they're all denied of course but you know there are rumors, so anything's possible. One thing we do know for sure, Alfred Molina, hopefully I say that right. He is indeed gonna be in Doctor Strange 2, and apparently he will be reprising the role of Doc Ock from the original Spider-Man 2. Now, Doc Ock will be in the MCU, but he will be playing the same character that was in Spider-Man 2002, and Venom and Morbius are taking place inside that same Spider-Man universe due to the previous information that I just gave, gave you all. So if Alfred can reprise his role as Doc Ock in the new MCU, then what's there to say that other characters won't be in there too, like Spider-Man? Because Spider-Man is no longer in his own universe. This is the Toby Spider-Man, by the way. Because Cletus Cassidy clearly said that there's no more heroes or whatever, and then no one ever shows or whatever, and then he kills a spider, clearly referring to Spider-Man. So, Spider-Man is no longer in his original universe, and he is now 
in the MCU, or at least he will be in Doctor Strange 2, which is why we haven't seen a Spider-Man in the Venom movie or, or anything or referring to Spider-Man at all. You know? You know? Yeah. And also, in the end of the Morbius trailer, Vulture from the MCU was inside the trailer. Therefore, he was also in the same universe as Venom and Morbius. So maybe he like crossed over or something, or that's like a weird post credit scene or something, or like, I, I have no clue, but that has something to do with something maybe. So Morbius Venom, same universe. Morbius Venom are in the same universe as the original Spider-Man trilogy. Why I think that the newspaper and the wall poster thing. And the wall poster thing, clearly not the MCU Spider-Man. That is very clearly the Tobey Maguire suit. So Venom Morbius are in the same universe as the Spider-Man 2002 universe. And we already know that Alfred Molina, who played Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, is going to be reprising his role in Doctor Strange 2 in the MCU. So clearly, there's going to be some kind of multiverse, crisscrossity thing. My theory is that Spider-Man from 2002 is going to be hopping over to Doctor Strange 2. Or like, maybe not to Doctor Strange, but maybe just some movie in the MCU. Or somehow he's going to just go. We do know that Spider-Man is no longer in that universe because Cletus Cassidy clearly says, The rescuer who never comes. And then also Vulture is in the Morbius trailer, so that has to do with something, I'm sure. Now we get to tell the reasons why this might not be true. First reason why this not be might not be a good thing theory. In the original Spider-Man 2002 trilogy, we already had a Venom played by Tober. But, I know what you're thinking. Well, there's already been one, so there can't be another one, obviously. Well, comic books, and I'm sure movies and shows and stuff, I'm sure there's been two or even more of the same character existing at the same time or even at different times due to time travel or like universe jumping multiverse thing. Honestly, I think that's it. Pretty sure that's the only thing that could possibly go against this theory. If it's not, I'll have some insert clips or images or text or something right here somewhere. Okay. Now that there was that second reason, or maybe not even a second reason, maybe it's just that first reason because maybe I didn't even think about the second reason when I was editing. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are new, I usually do these gaming video things. Also, I'd just like to say that I'm not a hardcore fan and I definitely did not do hours of research before this. So some of the things I said maybe weren't 110% accurate, but they were at least like 99% accurate because you know, I'm not a hardcore fan. I am a fan, but you know, I don't go into every single little detail and I don't search up every single little detail, you know? So if you're a hardcore fan and you find something that was completely off, then I'm sorry. I did my best. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you like this very different video that we just did. Let me know if you want some more theories. Let me know if you don't want any more theories. All right, I guess that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, dislike, buttons, they're all there, they're all options if you want to, but you don't have to if you don't want to, of course. Hope you all had a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever time it is, just make sure it's fantastic. Oh yeah, there'll be videos here, I think, maybe. I don't know. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is. Just make sure it's fantastic. Have a good day and night.